and welcome to your reading for the season of Capricorn. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. And uh, today we're going to take a look at the energy between you and the person on your mind and see what is going on. As you guys know, we are going to have a new moon in Aquarius on January 21st. Now, what does that mean when it comes to your relationship or your connection is that I feel that there is a new door, there is a new path opening up for you guys and uh, it might feel very different. Your energy is shifting towards higher levels of consciousness. You are going up and up and up and this person on your mind needs to really do a lot of catch up with you. And the main reason that maybe they haven't been contacting you or maybe uh you two are not as much in communication with each other is because uh you are you two are not energetically aligned yet now we are going to take a look also in 3d and see what is going on for you guys but i feel that you are just in uh, another level right now uh this is your consciousness is going through a lot of changes you are um you're also going towards a new path so we're going to see what it is and how is that going to be related to this connection okay and um in terms of emotionally i feel that your person has been taking you for granted the this is something that I'm seeing strongly. Perhaps they've been um, thinking that you're always going to be around, uh, but now you are stepping into your power and just walking away. So this is shifting uh, the energy between the both of you. Now let's just start this reading and we're going to take a look and see what is going on. First, we're going to take a look a little bit energetically, and then we are also going to take a look from a 3D perspective as well and see what is happening. Okay, my lovely Aries, let's see. See what is going on. Spirit, please tell me what is happening for Aries and their divine counterparts. What is happening for Aries? Okay. We have the sacred self and it says you're powerful. Live your life from a place of fullness and honor your perfect wholeness. This is exactly what is going on for you. So it's almost like you're wearing your uh, crystal tiara. Look at that. And it's a crystal tiara actually. So you're um, valuing yourself. Sorry guys, just give me a second. Okay. Let's see what else is happening for you, my lovely Aries. But you're definitely stepping into your power. As I said, you are powerful. Live your life from a place of fullness and honor your perfect wholeness, which is exactly right now your energy. And uh, this card also jumped out and it says detach, retreat from situations that are not in harmony with your soul. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have goosebumps right now because it's just exactly the same words that I was saying. Uh, open to greater love of self. Wow, beautiful. So I feel like you've learned how to love yourself. You are definitely detached right now from the connection. You are maybe you walked away for some of you, and it's just changing your and it, you know changing the dynamic of the connection. Okay, let's see what is going on with your person as well. We are going to also take a look at that too. And we have the empath and says, you are the harp of God's heavenly ch uh, chore um, and um, a multi-sensory, uh, multi highly uh, tuned being. And that is you. Wow, beautiful. So yes, for some of you, you could be empaths actually. You also have financial flow. You are eternal. You deserve it. Financial reward begin to flow and profitable solutions unfold. This is crazy. I feel that you're also getting a lot of abundance coming into your life. It could be a job offer for some of you that is going to be very, very good for you guys. Very profitable, very, it's going to bring you a lot of rewards. So not only this is in your love life, but also it is in your finances as well. And this is your person. Creative engineer. Yes, for some of them they could be. You have a creative intelligence capable of multiple solutions. So this is your divine uh, masculine energy coming along. And uh, let's see. Or your person. Um, if you're a masculine actually watching this. And um, oh my goodness. Okay, we have the lovers. And we have the alliance. 
this is just beautiful and it says the ocean of love is unpredictable forgive yourself in every moment and open your heart to receive the gift of love something really like this looks to me like a really passionate reunion happening we also have alliance and uh let's uh, put them both on the, as energy of the union beautiful let's see what else is happening for your person we have falling awake and it says when a situation falls apart <clears throat> your darkest hour becomes the dawn of your awakening there's no doubt that your person is going through the process of awakening and that could have been causing them not to communicate with you or maybe a lot of them they could have been um, just uh, uh, wanting to be by themselves that could be like some of them their energy they have been feeling very sad this person has been feeling very down uh, without you and we also have the artisan the resourceful self-made artisan brings attention to detail and follows through to the best of his ability yeah, and yes for some of you this person could be someone that they actually have their own business for others it could be that this person is actually yes a creative engineer as i actually showed up or they could be like just someone very creative and some possibly somebody like in you know being an entrepreneur is also being showed up but i'll tell you guys what is going on with your person we also have light vibration the universe responds to your vibrational frequency tune your frequency into love and i feel that this is on your end let's see and uh, wow beautiful heart magic create your world from your heart it's your magic wand of the universe and this is on your person's end so i feel that the heart chakra is going to be opening up and let's see let's get one more and uh what do we have we have also the alchemist once you understand the essence of everything is uh, contained within everything all things become possible and this is on your person's end so what is happening here <clears throat> is that energetically speaking first of all your person has been feeling very down this is the rock bottom for them uh, they felt that they cannot uh, fly they felt that uh, they shouldn't they didn't even uh, communicate with you because I feel like this person is going to has been going through a lot of darkness and um, and also um, by doing that by going through all of this darkness I feel like they're experiencing that awakening so this is the time that maybe even it's their darkest hour it's something like extreme for them uh, and that's why you haven't heard from them they could have been just going within not communicating you might have been even seeing them with someone or other people but it's just really on a superficial level and um for some of them maybe they have been manipulated by other people or a third party person but the, what they are realizing is that nothing is making them happy and this is actually exactly what needed to be done for your person to wake up wake up wake up from this deep sleep and it says falling awake when a situation falls apart which i feel that this has been um you know the separation that has happened between you two your darkest hour becomes the dawn of your awakening and you see there is um the sun is coming out for them this is um this is the beginning of a new journey for your person when it comes to their uh, spiritual path and that's why they have been going through all of that this person is going to fly again it's just that this is the state uh, that they are right now energetically and i feel that also <clears throat> your person is someone who is very very creative uh, someone very intelligent this person has a lot of ideas they have a lot of even creative uh, solution to different problems they are capable of more than what they are doing right now maybe for some of them they are working uh, in a field that they don't really love it or it's just draining them it's just making them sad i feel like everything in their life is just not aligned and that therefore they are also not aligned with your energy because you are totally the opposite energy right now than where they are however what is also happening is that their heart chakra is slowly but surely awakening or opening up as you guys see with this awakening card 
I feel that this person has some talent. Uh, they have um, they have a keen interest to something that maybe you know, like having their own business. And I see that it could be like a spiritual business for some of them. Uh, maybe they are uh, working as an engineer, or maybe working in some kind of a corporation. And uh, they actually spirit is uh, guiding them to use their talents and uh, become their own um uh, become a business owner or have their own business so it could be that also some of them they are into um uh, your person is very crafty as well so i feel like they're really good with their hand like making things it could be like even jewelry it could be like something that has to do with crystals like selling crystals or selling like crystal jewelry and things like that so for some of them, this is the energy that I see. However, I'm also seeing the influence of someone in their life that maybe that person has been uh, trying to manipulate this, you know, your person in a way. But it's just that this connection or this relationship is not making them happy. They're finding it empty, even though this person might have been pretending that they are very spiritual or they're into spirituality or they're like this and that. Uh, but I feel like they're not being successful of um, winning your person's heart because I see that their heart is somewhere else with you. Maybe even on a sub, maybe even they are not consciously aware of this themselves, but we're gonna take a look and see. Okay, so yeah, let's see. It's like the, there's some kind of an influence of someone like um, almost like a yeah like they could be like a third party um person that has been trying to manipulate them into believing that they're good for them or they're very compatible and i mean in the surface i feel like they could be very compatible but uh it's only on the surface but not in a deeper level and as their heart chakra is opening up i feel that more and more they're finding out that they have to um follow their hearts they have to create the world that they want to see from their hearts as opposed to from their mind and it says create your world from your heart so that's exactly uh what is happening it says it's your magic wand of the universe and that's um what the spirit is mentioning here okay yeah very creative this person is as i said could be like into spirituality something that has to do with like rings or jewelry maybe they are very good at making that but they haven't been uh starting um that kind of a business yet so that's their energy and in your and what is your energy is that as i said you are detached i feel like your energy is getting more and more detached and says retreat from the situation that are not in harmony with your soul because i feel that they haven't been um and aligned with you and that's the reason because uh, you are detached you are um, learning to love yourself more and therefore this type of energy of like them maybe going through darkness is just not aligned with you until this person uh, gets awakened by spirit which is happening absolutely it is happening but right now you're detaching yourself from them and this is doing the magic actually this was the key to the connection okay or to the union that is about to happen for you guys perhaps in the upcoming months and it says this is really really beautiful open to greater love of self and again you know they're talking a lot about uh sacred self this is you aries loving yourself honoring yourself honoring your path you're feeling powerful live your life from a place of fullness and honor your perfect wholeness this is exactly your energy so just know that don't think that by detaching yourself you're losing you're not actually by detaching yourself you are um you know leading to this okay you're leading the connection to this union it's beautiful actually and we are going to get more into it but not only that i feel that um you know as i said your um, vibrational energy is changed and it says the universe responds to your vibrational frequency tune in to frequency of love so 
exactly this is you because as your vibration is changing the universe also is going to respond to this type of a frequency okay you cannot be here where they are they have to catch up with you because you're here in the light vibration and you're they are down here okay but uh they are going to catch up it's just that um the universe is just going to give you uh, this type of frequency right now and not what is what um, what is going on with them because you cannot be with someone who their frequency is not aligned with yours okay so this is the explanation of why things are happening the way that they are and um, yes for some of you you could be like empath and it says um you are the harp of god's heavenly chore and this is just like beautiful some of you this is your third eye chakra i feel like it's opening up and it's like a lightning it's like something extremely powerful for some of you there is this purple energy there is this violet energy and yes for some of you it could be violet flames that you are watching this but also something else that the spirit is saying is that you're going to be very very right now sensitive towards the energies around you multi-sensory highly tuned being being like you're right now very much tuning to your um higher self to the energies around you and and um you know what the other thing that spirit is saying is that protect your energy because right now you are very much absorbing everything you're like you can see everything right now your third eye chakra you can see them you know without their mask um you can just um uh, look at someone and just know what is happening with them whether they're lying to you or whether they are um as t telling you the truth so everything is just being revealed to you and no one can really trick you and do anything and uh, no wonder that you haven't been um kind of like aligned with this person and it says uh and for some of you it could be something that has to do with music as well maybe for some of you you're being guided to listen to certain music that is more high high vibrational or it could be that messages are coming in music to you for some of you, you could also be clear audience okay you could be hearing the messages from your divine counterparts in uh in a form of uh, sound okay sound is important here and not only that spirit is saying that there is a financial abundance abundance coming to you guys as well and says you've earned it you deserve it okay you deserve it but what i also can tell you is that this is not only in terms of like financial you know physical or money i feel like this is the investment that you've been putting into the relationship that's giving you a result because remember that investment is not only in terms of uh, money it could also be in terms of emotions it could be in terms of uh, feelings and i feel that all of them is just like you've earned it so this is what they're saying you've earned it you deserve this okay not only mm, but also i see yes there's also uh, money coming for you guys there's a lot of abundance also coming for you my lovely aries so these are the current energies and the energy of the union is absolutely beautiful because they're saying that there's going to be a really passionate hot steamy union or reunion happening for you guys and to me this looks like a very uh what they're saying is that this could be happening um very unexpectedly like this person is just going to get a lot of um uh triggers to change their energy because you are changed so uh they might be really feeling like they want to be with you or they might be very much attracted right now to your energy because your energy is really beautiful okay you are attracting this you are manifesting this union and it says forgive yourself in every moment and open your heart to receive the gift of love so i feel like also you two need to perhaps forgive uh, yourselves and forgive each other for something that has happened in the past for this beautiful union to happen and i'm seeing a lot of like this is a physical union okay this is um i feel like this is sacred sexuality here that is happening between the both of you very very passionate you two are very um 
you two are very compatible i feel like you two are even like physically very very attracted to each other but at the time when you're energetically are not uh, aligned then that's why there's conflict okay but just know that yes you two are also physically attracted a lot to each other there's passion and um we also have alliance and says important partnership agreement or unexpected connections bring fortunate opportunities one other thing that i want to say to you aries is that there is a possibility that there's also another uh, connection is coming to you and you might be faced with a choice okay it could be that there's also um this other connection could be coming to you as unexpected you might not be expecting that because all you're thinking is about this person however i feel like there's also going to be another person entering your life and you will be faced with a choice or a decision now with the lovers there's always choice and they're saying that love is about choice okay that is the message love is a choice and uh, with the lovers there's also gemini energy coming along for others i feel that um if you already know this person i see that it could be that some of you you are going to come into some kind of a partnership with them you two might even start a business together you two might even do something together that is going to double your um abundance like it's going to bring you guys more money that's the, another thing that i'm seeing okay very very beautiful a lot of letter a uh it's coming out um yeah like a lot of like letter a so for some of you it could be that your name is starts with a so i feel like this is the current energies and i'm just gonna get uh just few more and then i'm gonna get into toro because i want to keep these readings a little bit shorter for you guys so i can do them more often for some of you i'm seeing that you you might be like even coloring your hair purple and uh for some of you kind of like um maybe even like your your hair color could be like wine even like looking like the color of wine and um hold on a second for others it could be like burgundy or <clears throat> or brownish that's also what i see and uh for some of you i must think that this person could have blue eyes for some of them i feel like this person could be for some of you really younger than you for others really like it could be like an age gap for some of you uh with this person some of them they have a really kind of a they like to wear kind of outfit like that like a little bit like of like a hippie sort of energy coming to this okay let's see oh my goodness okay this is the energy of christ and mary magdalene and this is masculine and feminine energy you two are definitely coming into a union a really beautiful union i feel that is ahead for you and says no the masters are always with you receive unconditional love let masculine and feminine energy shine well it's like you two are gonna get aligned okay that's what they are saying and there is something in this connection that is absolutely divine that is absolutely undeniable um like they cannot deny this connection maybe in the past they've been in denial for some of them as i said they've been taking um, this connection as uh, for granted but things are changing you have mother mary wow beautiful your inner child needs care and attention look kindly at yourself let mary envelop your in your in blue light some of you it could also be blu-rays um if you're a twin fame and you're watching this but there's something about i feel like for you aries it's about you loving your inner child it's about you loving yourself that's coming out there's also a strong connection to mother mary and christ there's a lot of like christ energy and also mary magdalene i feel that um 
for some of you Aries, it could be that there is could be could have been like a mother wound that you are healing that there is something related to your mother that you are healing um, you're just starting to love yourself with that self-love cards that also showed up i feel like you need you are giving yourself the attention that maybe you need it instead of like getting it from this person i feel like you are giving that to yourself and that's why you are shifting the energies basically this energy of the masculine and feminine is also getting more and more balanced for both of you wow beautiful and uh, we also have commander ashtar on their end and it says you exist on many planes is simultaneously you can travel between dimensions taking the light and receive inspiration your person is learning that they are not only a one dimensional kind of a you know just a human like having an experience they're realizing that they're a multi-dimensional being uh your person is going to receive a lot of uh inspiration maybe for some of them they could also be star seeds uh for some of them i feel that this person is going to be a leader somehow they are going to be leading something and you are you two are going to be joining um you know this um some kind of an alliance or a leadership that's coming it could be that you two have like this soul agreement to also fulfill together and it's a really really powerful mission that you two have and that's why this um, union is happening but you know what also spirit is saying that this connection not only it is spiritual but you two are also sexually very very attracted to each other okay this is what i exactly am seeing and for some of you it might take just maybe uh, something for your person to get triggered to understand that you you are not just um always waiting for them like you have options and that could be like triggering things in them to come forward because i feel like maybe they uh, took you for granted as i said i see that in some of them okay so hold on a second okay guys now let's see um i'm gonna get you guys some tarot and then you know get you some charms too For some of you this person definitely has some facial hair i mean uh even i was like before i was getting this card i was th thinking that this person looks like uh christ this person looks like jesus i mean look at the eyes and look at this um picture as well so let's see well let's see also in 3d what is happening for you and them as well okay for some of them it could be an earth sign they are the knight of pentacles and um, born in the year of um, ox rabbit boar dog and rooster is being showed up and and if you haven't watched the video that i did about the zodiac gears then go ahead and watch that we also have the knight of cups interesting and i feel that this is on your end actually and uh, you could have water in your chart my lovely aries and you also have the hangman on their end this person is going through a process of awakening there's absolutely no doubt they put their relationship on pause for a reason and you know that i feel like you already know all of that and let's see we also have the page of wands there is going to be a communication coming and i feel that for some of you you might be actually communicating with them some of you i'm seeing that you might be messaging them asking something it's like okay let's see what else we also have the ten of pentacles on their end yeah this person is not feeling fulfilled at all even though maybe emotionally they're doing well we also have the ace of cups there is an offer of love coming for you yeah there is no doubt this person is going to be offering their love to you it's just that they're ashamed of the past or how they have been treating you if you take a look at this person's eyes are closed and but they are offering their cup of love this is ace of cups but in this ace of cups is a little bit different 
because if you take a look this is not only a cop and we, you know there's someone here and this person has been closing their eyes meaning that something has happened and they are ashamed of what they did in the past but still they're hoping that you accept this cup of love not knowing that you are ready actually to offer your cup but I feel like also you want to make sure that this person really deserve it like deserving you that's another thing that I see but you see you're like this and they're like also offering that like both of you are offering your cup of love to each other and I see that it's definitely uh, coming I feel like you might be initiating the communication and they're like yes <laughs> I want you I have feelings for you uh, you know there's something like a regret in their energy that I'm also seeing I feel that also for some of them they might be proposing something to you like maybe to asking you to become their partner in some kind of a business because this person wants to start uh, something themselves and uh, yes with the hangman definitely there, this is the energy of um, awakening that is coming and uh, yeah when a situation fall, falls apart your darkest hour becomes the dawn of your awakening and with the hangman there's always that awakening that's happening this is opening up their heart uh, i feel like they're realizing that no matter how much money or status they have they still have been feeling unhappy uh, you see this person the ten of pentacles usually has other people around but this person has only their dog so maybe yes they're only like th themselves and their dog with you know with them and they're thinking that this is just not fulfilling them emotionally okay this is what i see uh, i feel like maybe they have been um making money maybe they uh, started something and they want to share that with you i feel like definitely they want to share uh because look at the um knight of pentacles he has something to offer and i feel like it is um also when it comes to finances there's something that maybe they want to ask you for partnership that is also something coming up for some of you this person could have like a silver hair for some of them they could have like brownish hair and uh let's see what else we also have the lovers oh my goodness aries oh my goodness okay this is it we also have the two of pentacles and uh this is on your end you've been balancing yourself no doubt i feel like you've been balancing work and emotions you've been balancing the energy of masculine and feminine you succeeded i feel like you guys are already there okay that's what i exactly see here and one more we also have the ace of pentacles okay there are two offers coming for you i feel like there are two kind of offers uh it could be that for you also there is a job offer or something coming and also this person could be coming and offering you so there's a lot i feel like you have a lot of decision to make my lovely aries it's just like coming to you from left and right from them from other people i see that there's also another connection that could be coming towards you and um with the lovers they're again saying that love is a choice and also you know this is the energy of you and them which is like coming into union together okay so i feel that uh, this person is gonna ask you to um, be with them to even for some of you it could be like marriage it could be something official because this person is asking uh, this person's hand uh, for marriage okay for some reason there is a lot of uh, christian energy i feel like maybe this person is very uh maybe they could have been very religious or just something about christianity coming very very strong i feel like this person believes that they have to ask your hands in marriage like they have to do something like officially uh and this is what i also see but gemini energy is also coming okay i feel like this person has like silver hair uh that's another thing that spirit is showing but there's also a lot of like there's a job offer for you coming as well aries uh, and with that i feel like there's also a someone like a person that could be offering you that aside from your divine counterparts okay so extremely beautiful energies and um 
Uh, wow, beautiful. So I have a copy of this deck as well. If you guys um, been wanting to get that, I think I have only one copy left uh, from this deck. And uh, let's also get you charms as well, Aries. A lot of uh, Earth energy. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that. So Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo is coming up very, very strongly. Okay, just a second. Let's get some. Okay, the zodiac signs that are coming is the year of dragon, year of um, rooster. Yeah, I told you guys, and year of goat, and uh, also year of tiger. For some of you, could be a confirmation, but I believe that year of rooster was is like a double confirmation. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here we also have uh, the height offense some of you there is marriage here we also have the judgment and the empress wow this is you i feel like you are stepping into that empress energy beautiful and uh, with the judgment i'm also saying this is the call of a spirit for both of you there's no doubt that there's something that you two are um going to achieve together and it cannot be done if maybe this connection is not official so there's something that maybe they want to make it official with a higher offense there's taurus energy there's libra also energy coming along with this hold on a second okay and uh finally let's also get you guys charms i'm also um you guys can also get some of my charms I'm selling them on my website so you can get them if you want to. And let's see, my lovely Aries, what else is happening? Okay. I think that's good enough. And let's see, what do we have here? What is it that we have? Okay. We have hope. Okay. So Spirit is asking you that, telling you that there's hope within the connection. Uh, if you've been wondering if there's hope, yes, there is. We have China. It also says, my thoughts are cloudy. Uh, perhaps they've been having a very a lot of doubt. We have, we have number three, which is a master number. And we had a master. Um, the masters ascended masters we had christ and also mary magdalene coming so this is trinity energy coming and a lot of also yeah there is a christ i mean there's a cross i'm seeing a lot of cross and i feel like there is a strong connection to uh christianity for some of you that is coming it's like a strong connection um i feel that for some of you maybe you have walked um at the time of christ there's something like that is also coming there's also uh, buddhism or buddha for some of you you have walked with ascended masters in the past life maybe for some and uh, it also says i'm ready to love you ready to love you to hold you uh, after a long time union happening i i thought that to let you know i'm ready <laughs> um i know you have been waiting for a long time okay and these are the the time has come for this divine union yep i feel like the time is coming for you guys very very it's very close for some of you maybe they're gonna get on a car to come and see you um must have seen some parts of the world like us is being showed up very very strongly and um 
Sorry, guys. This was my hair here. We also have a ring. This person wants to offer you commitment. I feel like there's commitment coming. This is a soul bond as well with this ring that I see. And there's a diamond. And I feel like it's not only... Like this soul bond is also coming into the physical for you. I feel like they want to ask, you know, ask you to be their spouse. They want to commit to you. Uh, this is the energy that is coming and it says I never want to see you sad or crying it hurts me so badly I've been avoiding you because I was afraid I would hurt you because of the darkness that this person has been going through and it says I'm sorry that I've been so inconsistent with you but I promise from now on I will try my best to be there for you I want you to know that I love you Aries this person really loves you okay for some of you it could be a Leo uh, there's also Scorpio energy coming a little bit of Aquarius energy that I also see this person could be an engineer for some of you maybe even something that has to do with robotics or maybe even for some could be into artificial intelligence things like that is also coming but I feel like they have like more talents than just that this person is really multi-talented uh there's also some parts of the wor world like there's holland ne netherlands especially uh like parts of europe like there's paris there's france as well and also a lot of like india or parts of like south asia or asia is being showed up there's a lot of elephants here okay it could be that for some of you it could be your spirit animal that's also being showed up and it says fear of judgment i haven't told you everything about me i was afraid of judgment and it says i didn't want to face my emotions i was afraid of love fear of pain fear of love for some of them and it says um i've been tired of being away i'm tired of being away from you i'm missing you so much your touch your smell letter p letter k uh and it also says i'm feeling depressed letter e okay and as i said this person has been feeling very down that's another thing that spirit is saying okay so if there's something about music maybe for some of you uh the messages could be coming to you via music uh this person is um might be giving those messages and it says she believes she could so she did this is exactly you know what you're doing you believe that you can and you're going to do it okay and um i feel that this is just a uh, handmade oh my god this is this person is very handy or like they could be into craft or something and maybe for some of you you could also be but i feel like they're very crafty that's what spirit is mentioning yeah, for some of you, they could be like uh, Libra or even um, Scorpio as well, okay? My lovely Aries, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. I'm sending all my Aries so much love until next time.